what's up guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video we are going to be trying out the new conspiracy palette um i created this beautiful look using this palette and this palette only but i'm gonna go ahead and swatch um the colors for you guys um and then we can go ahead and start to play with the palette i'm gonna go ahead and start to do them from the top so i'm gonna first jump into ranch which is this one right up here they feel really creamy on your hands let me go ahead and swatch oh such a beautiful shade oh my gosh we're gonna go ahead and jump into the next shade which is my pills which is this one right up here oh the pigment is a no joke oh my god the next shade is gonna be tanacon Wow, very pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. Kind of blends into my skin tone a little bit, but a very beautiful shade. The next shade we're gonna try out is Diet Root Beer. Ooh, that's kind of cute too. Good um, transitioning shade, or just like a little bit of a to transition it into a smoky eye. Very cute color. The next shade is going to be Just a Theory, which kind of looks a little bit like a rosy gold, but also like a brown shade. Yes, look at that. Very, very beautiful. Oh my gosh. The next shade we're going to try out is a Spiraling. Ooh, this looks very, very pigmented. I'm just going to go ahead and swatch it right here. Wow. Wowzers. Very, very cute. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and jump into the second row. In the second row, it starts off with Conspiracy and on. So we're going to go ahead and try Conspiracy. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Love this shade. I can't wait to use this. This is like a money, money kind of color. And the next shade is going to be Pigment. I'm not trying to flick my finger. I am sorry. Oh my god, that's like a Barbie pink. I actually used that one. Why am I still surprised? Like, that's how good these palettes are. I'm still shook after I've already played with it. <laughs> Next shade is going to be food videos. Yes. Let me go ahead and add a little bit more. That's just, all of these are just with one swatch. Obviously, the more you get, the more it will come out. But very, very beautiful. Next shade is going to be Trisha. Oh, I'm not over here touching my hand and everything. Oh my god. Trisha. You guys see that? That's an insane pink. It's so beautiful. And the next shade is going to be Cheese Dust. Oh, that's a nice orange. And lastly, from the second row, is going to be Flaming Hot. Very nice pink. Let me go ahead and add one more. All of these are just one swatch. That one had two swatches, but very beautiful red. Alrighty, and now we're going to go ahead and jump into the last row, which is these down here. We're going to go ahead and start off with What's to Tea, which is this, like, beautiful... I don't even know what kind of color that is. <laughs> very very colorful i've used this on my eyelids you can see um, i'm gonna go ahead and start off with what's the tea pigments next shade we're gonna go ahead and jump into is diet cola which very cute i'm gonna go ahead and apply oh my oh my god can you imagine using this for like a highlighter it is very beautiful as well. Next shade is going to be Not a Fact. Ooh, yes. I will admit though, blending this purple was a little bit tricky. Like right there. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but I was having a little bit of trouble blending that out. But still, very, very beautiful shade. 
And the next shade is gonna be Sleep Paralyzed. Oh my goodness. again such a like beautiful it's it's a shimmer and it's it's so creamy and i'm like i love it I honestly don't even know what to say about them they're just so beautiful next shade is going to be illuminati which is this shimmery green and we're going to go ahead and just apply it right here oh my gosh this is like oh, i love this row all right, and lastly, the last shade of this palette is My Rides Here, which is this black. Let's go. Ooh, that looks very pigmented as well. Let's go ahead. Yikes. I am afraid to use that one. It's super pigmented. You guys know that blacks are usually the ones that have a little bit of issue between patchiness and girl. Look at this. One swatch dragged it literally my entire hand or fist or whatever you want to call it <laughs> and a lot oh my god that's insane but that is it for this palette um this palette is extremely pigmented extremely beautiful i honestly recommend this palette so yeah let's go ahead and jump into creating this beautiful look okay so i want to add a lot of color because I'm, i want to like really test this palette out so I think I'm just going to go for like a colorful kind of look. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to jump into is going to be Food Videos, which is this really cute neon green yellow color. And I'm just going to go ahead and add that right into my inner corner. Oh, pigments. I barely tapped it in there. There's a lot. Okay, and the next shade we're going to go ahead and jump into is going to be Cheese Dust, which is this one right here. And that one we're just going to go ahead and apply right next to the yellow. Pigment, I see you. And then as I'm doing that, I'm also going to go back into food videos and just reapply just so the color just doesn't straight off disappear. Alrighty, and the next shade we're going to jump into, it's going to be Flaming Hot, which is this really beautiful bright red right over here. And that one's going to go ahead and start to blend into that orange. These shades are pigmented. And again, going back into cheese dust, I'm gonna go ahead and reapply just because the, I don't want it to fade away as I start adding the new color. Alrighty, and the next shade we are going to jump into is Pigment, which is this beautiful pink right here. And using another brush, I'm just going to go ahead and just start to blend that up here. So I'm just going to jump into Pigment. Oh, this one looks really pigmented as well. Oh my goodness, this pink is like overtaking everything. Alrighty, and the next shade we're going to jump into is Not A Fact which is this beautiful purple burgundy kind of color down here and that one we're just going to go ahead and put out right down here and we're kind of going to flick it so you know let me just it's kind of easier to say it than i mean to do it than explain it so kind of just building it up here and then kind of flick it outward
Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and cut a crease. So to cut my crease, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer. And this is in medium, medium beige. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a flat brush. Oh, and this um, eyeshadow doesn't really have fallout. I guess I got myself confused thinking I was gonna go for a full cut crease, but I'm not. So we're just gonna have to cover that back up, which is fine. So I'm just gonna go literally back into the shades that apply here and just cover that up. As simple as that. So the next shade we're gonna jump into is going to be What's the T, which is this beautiful color right down here. And we're just going to go ahead and apply that all over the eyelid. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab a flat brush just so it would be easier to just apply. So I'm going to try the Wet n Wild flat brush. I'm not exactly sure what this is called. So I'm just going to go ahead and just apply. Ooh. The pigment on these are amazing. Alright, so now that I went ahead and applied that, I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and put Ranch, which is this one right up top. And I'm going to go ahead and put that right in my inner corner. That is so beautiful. Alrighty, next we're going to go ahead and jump back into Not Effect. And we're going to go ahead and blend that in with What's the Tea. So we're going to start to put that in our outer corners. Alright, so now that I've finished with that purple, I'm going to go into that same purple and just apply under my lashes. Under my under eye, not under my lashes. And now I'm just going to go ahead and clean it up. And to clean it up, I'm just going to go ahead and actually use my Fenty Beauty Pro Fixer Foundation and my flat brush. And I'm just going to get a little bit just to clean up the outer. I don't want to clean up too much. Alright, and for eyeliner today, I'm going to be using my Beauty For Real Finish Line Liner. And I'm just going to go ahead and quickly do this and we will continue from there. And you know, it looks a little funky since I didn't want to make my eyeliner match my eyeshadow i just left it a little bit higher so i'm gonna go ahead and quickly put my lashes on and we will continue from there Alrighty, so i went ahead and applied my lashes i'm just waiting it for, for it to dry um and then we're gonna go ahead and just apply the lips usually i don't try so many colors it's like i'm trying to like explore into the colorful world i'm gonna I don't want to put too heavy on my lips just because my eyes stand out already. So I feel like just trying out this gloss. This is the Steve Laurent um, Champagne Gloss. This is how it looks. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it's just too plain. Should I add a red? So I actually just went ahead and took that off. I was like, I don't know how I feel about it. So I'm actually going to try a red lip. I think it would look good since there's a little bit of red in there. This one is the MAC um, Ruby Woo Lipstick. 
It's a really cute red shade. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on. All right, I think this kind of looks a little bit better. Um, this look is very colorful, but um, I think I actually like it. I think it looks pretty good with this. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and don't forget my $50 gift card giveaway going on. Um, once I reach 300 subscribers, there will be one lucky winner. Um, but yeah, I want to wish all of you the best of luck. And thank you for your time. And I hope to catch you guys next video. Peace.